Okay, I have a confession for you. I'm a 3D Dungeons addicted. It's a fact. Modular, magnets, that's what I need. Welcome back to the MDM channel. During my last D&D session with my regular group, I noted that I missed some walls. We usually play on uh, the Kraken Fantasy Dungeon tiles, and they are perfect for our game style because the pavements are in a frame. In this way, all the players around the table have a good view about their characters or about the action, so they are perfect. But once in a while, I missed walls. You know, walls give you the perfect idea about the coverage, about uh, the limit of the room. So sometimes we need a wall. That's why I grabbed some XPS foam, some cardboard, some hot glue, and uh, I scratch build these magnetics, dungeon ties, and walls. So stop talking and let's get in action. I've used some metal sheet grid that I had on my desktop, but you can use any other metal sheet of 2mm thick at most, as you prefer. Also grab some cardboard and bond the two pieces together with some hot glue. Using the same technique that I showed you in my previous video, create some dungeon floor tiles that will be bond atop of our metal grid with some hot glue. With this technique you can create any shape for your rooms, oblique corner, round corner, or simply a modular bigger room. The last step for our modular and magnetized dungeon tiles are the frames walls. i show you in a while how to create your foam bricks. First, we need to do a little test with our magnets, just in order to be sure that everything works. With the help of our faithful Proxen hot wire cutter, we cut some strips of XPS foam. The ideal measurements are on the screen right now. Put some stones and foam bricks in a plastic container and shake it. Shake it for 20 seconds, maybe 30. Now open the plastic container to admire the magic. Texturized foam bricks are ready to go. The next step is crucial for me. We will cut some cardboard in order to create the base of our walls. Find a very thick metal wire. Twist one edge of the metal wire with your pliers.
using some hot glue to bond in it on the cardboard. Let the gravity force help you put in upside down your piece. It will help to have a perpendicular position of your metal wire. Pass the metal wire inside the brick and glue it with hot glue. Now you can go ahead with the building of your walls. If you want to create the curvature of the ceiling, just bend the metal wire slightly and that's it. Of course, you can also add some details to the wall surfaces. Now we need to cut the proper space for our magnets in the cardboard. So it depends about the shape of your magnets. In my case I've used some rectangular shaped magnets, but you can use any kind of magnet shape that you want. If you want to add texture to your walls, you can use some wood glue diluted with water and sand. Just sprinkle the sand on the diluted glue.
we are finally arrived to the painting stage. Before to start to paint our walls, we have to cover the entire pieces with our mixture of wood glue, water and color. As we know, it will help us to make more stronger and durable our XPS foam. Now apply your overbrush, dry brush and wash techniques to create the desired effect for your walls. In my previous videos you can find a, a quite exhaustive guide about how I made the dirt effect, mud effect and stone effect. almost done. Just adding some flocks on our pieces, paying attention to the places where we put the flock. We need to try to recreate the moss effect. In my case I had a little bit of a light green turf on the top of the dark one. I like to pop up the vegetation effect. Because I think that these walls could be very helpful even for external environments, not just for my dungeons. As usual, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and leave a comment in the box below. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. i see you in the... Oh, wait! Before I leave you, I would like to announce that the first giveaway of the channel, it will arrive very soon and it will be sponsored by Kraken Studios. So stay tuned. Ciao!